So fried berry, um, which is uh, a name to conjure with. So uh, fried berry is on a Shudder. We've reviewed a couple of Shudder movies before. There was a 2017 short, uh, which Ryan Kruger, the director, described as a Ryan Kruger thing. Um, with Gary Green as this kind of feral-looking addict who shoots up heroin in a deserted warehouse and then experiences freaky hallucinations. Um, it's less than four minutes long, booming, very powerful, um, actually very, very well received. This South African feature film is a spin-off from that idea, again starring Green, who was previously a, a stuntman and a very kind of a, a arresting presence. We meet him in a very unhappy domestic situation. He goes out, is apparently abducted by aliens, although there is a suggestion that everything that's happening in the film is a hallucinogenic, you know, frenzy, particularly if you've seen the short film first. And they then return him to Earth with an alien consciousness in his body. The rest of the movie is then a series of kind of grand guignol misadventures with Barry, who's fried, stumbling his way through a world of drugs, sex, violence, while Ryan Kruger attempts to think of like comedic ways to out yuck the brood and to the devil, a daughter or basket case, you know, the Hen and Lotta uh, film. It's, it's hard to describe. Some of it is really gross. Some of it is quite weird. Some of it is oddly entertaining. Some of it feels self-consciously culty. I mean, oddly enough, tonally, it reminded me of the greasy strangler, which I have to say I didn't like, but I know others have really liked the greasy it had that kind of the greasy strangler which is, I, I guarantee you, you would hate The Greasy yes, Strangler. And no, I also pretty much I'm guarantee you that, that you would last about 15 minutes yep. with, with Fried Barry. It has something to offend everyone. Um, the birth sequence is definitely a, a talking point. I think there is, some, there is some really interesting moments in it. I mean, as I said, that self-consciously culty thing, which is it felt a little bit like Liquid Sky, that 80s film that looked like somebody had sat down and you know decided to make a cult movie. And I think as with so many films that have their roots in impressive shorts, the feature does feel like it's kind of running on empty after about two thirds of the way through. But Green is quite the screen presence. And there is there's a there's a sort of stylistic technique at work there that suggests that actually we may see uh more more universally acceptable work from the director in the future it's an oddity i didn't love it it was quite distracting i was very much attracted to it after producer simon pool described it to me in a way which was probably exactly as i've tried to describe it to you which is to say it is largely indescribable it's on shudder it's not for the faint of heart um and it's definitely it's definitely a kind of fans only but if you are a fan there are things in there that are intriguing al along with a bunch of things that are like really yes. Really? Okay. I think the key there is where you said there's something to offend everyone. The childbirth scene is certainly a talking point. That sounds to me like I know Titanic is slightly a sad point, a sad movie. The sinking of the ship is certainly a talking point. You know? Okay, yes. That's what it is.